Welcome to Life with David. I'm David, and I was just trying to shave with my trusty Norelco 7865XL razor. Unfortunately, rechargeable batteries no longer hold a charge, so it's time to replace them. So why don't you join me as we bring this razor back to life? I'd like to spend a moment on safety. There's nothing more important than keeping you and your loved ones safe. Be sure to read, understand, and follow the safety rules for your tools. Using your tools properly will greatly reduce the risk of personal injury. And always use your appropriate eye, hearing, and respiratory personal protective equipment. In this video, we'll be doing electronic work involving soldering. If you're not careful while soldering, you could burn yourself. So always keep an eye on the tip of the soldering iron and let your work cool before you touch it. Now let's get started. I really like this razor and I replaced the batteries once before about seven years ago. Nickel cadmium batteries don't last forever so now it's time to do it again. I ordered replacement batteries through Amazon from HQRP-US. The kit also included a T8 screwdriver and a coaster? The screwdriver is the right size for taking apart the shaver, but the coaster? Anyway, start out by removing the two screws in the back of the shaver. One is in plain sight and the other is visible after the trimmer is flipped up. Next, flip the trimmer back down and lift and pull the back off. This will expose the batteries. The batteries are in a plastic holder that is clipped to the circuit board. To get the, to the back of the board, we need to remove two metal clips. Use a small flat screwdriver to pop them out of the case. The battery leads are soldered to the circuit board. The board is also soldered directly to the motor. This makes things a little tricky when trying to unsolder the batteries. I'll unsolder the motor leads from the circuit board to reduce the potential of damage to the motor leads. Next, unsolder the batteries. I'll clean up the solder using desoldering braid and a solder sucker pump. Although I probably don't need to, I unclip the plastic battery holder from the circuit board. I pop the old batteries out and put the new ones in. Insert the new battery leads into the circuit board. Verify that the positive battery terminal is attached to the positive connection. Then clip the plastic battery holder back onto the board. After the battery holder is back in place, solder the battery leads. Now it's time to reattach the motor leads. Here a third hand is helpful. I use a little plastic tub to keep the shaver from flopping over. I tin the motor leads and heat the circuit board while pushing the motor leads into the appropriate holes. Fit the circuit board into place and then reinstall the metal clips. Finally put on the back by first sliding the trimmer into the main housing and then reinstalling the screws. I'll charge it up 
and then I'm good to go. Thanks for joining me today. I got my favorite shaver working again by replacing the rechargeable batteries. I could have bought a new razor, but I hate to toss out stuff that still has life in it. This project is pretty straightforward, but you have to be careful of the motor leads and have a way to hold the razor while you are working on it. I guess I'll celebrate by having a drink using my new coaster. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down and leave a comment or suggestion for things to do. I hope to do more of these videos, so please subscribe and click on the bell for notification of new videos. Let's get together next time for another day in Life with David. See you soon!